Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to set up the task queue and how it can help you in creating approval workflows. First, let me clarify what I mean by approval workflows. For the demonstration, I'll choose one of our pre-built templates. Say one of the tasks that your team performs daily is making refunds for certain customers. For the refund action, you can create a workflow that will involve a risk manager or any other assignee whose approval will be mandatory in order to execute the action. Let's start with creating a queue for our tasks. That's the place where the assignee will see the queue of incoming tasks and either approve or reject them. To configure it, we give it a name and set the statuses which will identify whether a given task has been rejected, approved or just submitted. Then we can create parameters that will receive values from the page where the action has been taken. In our example, the parameters could be the refund amount and the reason for the refund. Now we've successfully created our queue. The next step is configuring the action. We enable the approval flag and select the task queue that we want all the tasks to be sent to. To set the task name, you can either type in a static name or use one of the values from the page. Let's go with the customer's name and choose the assignee for the task. Now it's time to set the statuses that we've previously defined in the task queue setup. Initial status is the status that a given task will appear in the assignee's queue with. Status after their approval and the reject are pretty self-explanatory. Finally, we get to the parameters that we set up in the beginning of the video. All that's left here is to pass values from our page onto these parameters. In our example is the refund amount and the reason for the refund. Done. Let's publish the app and see how it works. The support representative presses the button which sends the task to the chosen assignee along with the task details. The assignee receives the task in the feed, checks the details of the task and decides to approve. Only after that has the action been executed.